Hassan, you've uh, won the toss. What do you want to do? We'll bowl first. So that's uh, the news from the middle. Pakistan has won the toss. They have to bowl first. As we go along, we'll find out what these players have done so far in the team. I'm Atul Vasan in the commentary box and with me is Sunil Joshi. First ball, nice carry. It's not that kind of a pacey pitch where you can expect uh, the ball to just climb. Yeah. I think that's the one which uh, he was waiting. The boundary. <laughs> nice angle to that. Good delivery, getting close, high arm action. The ball swinging back into the right-hander. One place nicely placed to the uh, that's a nice boundary, nicely off the bats. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. That is a beautiful shot through the covers. Don't bother running. That's gone to the boundary. Down the leg side is swept away, swept it for four. That's a sweep shot. Can he get a boundary? Yes, it is. And he's uh, hit that up in the air. Someone's getting underneath it. I don't think so he has any chance because it's gone all the way. That is a massive hit and it's gone maximum. I think uh, Gurpaz has really picked this one very well. Oh, on the app, lovely shot. He's growing in confidence and he smashed that. That's gone up in the air. Fielder getting underneath it, takes it. Pakistan finally picks a wicket, thanks to Musa. Forces the batsman to hit in the air. And it's the set batsman, Gurbaz, who has to go back to the pavilion. He'll be very disappointed. 61 for one, Gurbaz set. He was looking for a big one. 40 of 53, 61 for one. Ikram Khil, the new batsman. There you go. I was waiting for this and uh, I was just about to say that Skipper is doing well bringing Afridi back. But Zadran is well set. He had made up his mind. Nowhere you pitch it. I'm going to go for it. A wicket goes down. Finally Taha breaks through Zadran. Zadran uh, was... Uh, for my liking, struggling for the last four five overs. So it might be a blessing in disguise. The Zadran goes and a fresh pair of legs come in. 36 of 76, 91 for two. Afghan. Darvish Rasul, uh, the most prolific batsman. Chalo, chalo. I guess of the mark and uh, will retain the strike. After 29, it's 96 for two. Catch, catch it, catch. Another chance, but it was just over the field. Uh, Looks like they got two, a four, a much needed four Atul, but it was a cheeky shot. There you go. That's the first of the big shots, easily lofted over mid-wicket for a boundary. That's a beautiful square cut there. Yeah, 50 for him. Very important knocker from uh, Ikram Ali. And he's uh, not only picked up uh, his 50, he's also picked up a boundary here. Uh, the back-to-back -back boundaries for him. Turning out to be very good over. What a crucial knock this is from the left-hander. He looked uh, very impressive right from the word go. Yes, he did take a little bit of time to settle in. Oh, he's uh, gone up. Uh, should be out and is out. It's the short del delivery that has worked for Mohamed Musa. Forced the batsman to hit... Uh, a little bit early and I miscues it and hit it straight to the fielder at mid-wicket. It's an important wicket for Pakistan. He goes back for 18, uh, Darwish Rasul and Afghanistan 160 for three. Naveen Haq, the new batsman. <laughs> Shouts of catch it. And he takes it. That is a very good catch. Excellent work in the deep. Outstanding catch. Another wicket falls. I 
दूसरा लॉयर वोट फॉर सेवन ऑफ टेन बॉल्स तारिक स्टनिक जाय द न्यू बैट्समैन Shouts of catch it, and he does. That's a very well judged catch, and that is a big wicket. That is a very big wicket. Tariq Sanik Sai, five runs of eight, on 94 for five. Guys, the new batsman, guys Ahmed. Oh, that's a nice one to finish off. What a shot! It's a no ball, and it's gone for the boundary. Yes. Nailed it over the ropes. It moves to the well-deserved hundred. What a shot to bring up his hundred, Ikram. Went down the wicket, and just for a moment, I thought the fielder was getting underneath it, but in the end, it sailed over. Well played, Ikram. He has been given a free hit. It's another one outside the ropes. That shows the confidence he has got in after his hundred. It's a brilliant one. That looks from here. It looks to be all right. Was he given out? Was he given out? Initially, he was not given out. He was walking. And then uh, he realized that there was no appeal, but the bowler then turned around and said, "How's that umpire?" And he walks. Uh, it was a nick. Guys has gone for 14, and Afghanistan 244 for six. And he's got uh, past that fielder. He should come back for the second, and he does. He's good running. Gone. This turning out to be very good over, but the question is, has it come a little bit too late? Nick straight to the keeper. Second wicket in this over for Afridi. The Navin Olak gone. Gone for two. Afghanistan 247 for seven. Last ball of this over, turning out to be a very good one. For Pakistan, has driven down the ground. Only be a single. What a terrific over this is uh, from uh, Afridi. Just the four runs and two wickets. In the end, Afghanistan has managed to score a very healthy 248 for seven. I think it's a healthy score. I think they all know internally. Afghanistan team knows that this is the score they were looking at to put on the board. 248 for seven. Brilliant batting by Kramali. They were slow to start off the blocks, but eventually, this massive total on this pitch. Uh, and uh, in the interview, the captain said that we will need around 230, 240, and these extra runs would be a bonus when it comes to the time when the bowlers will go out. Pakistan has got their task cut out. The wicket is flat but slowish pitch. This is uh, these are the bowling uh, card. The bowlers went for a leather hunt in the last. Uh, 12 overs, so they'll need a solid start up front. Afghanistan also didn't get off to a, a, a fast start, but uh, they kept the wickets intact. That helped them to actually get to this total in the end. Starting off uh, with a wide, uh, Naveen. That's the one uh, Arif shot outside the off stump. Wit got the maximum punishment. Well bowled, well scored. That's the uh, good start from Mujib. Yeah! That's it. Got the breakthrough. Mujib dragged down to him, trying to cut away outside the off stump. Well, nobody That's has had the hang of this bowler Sunil, and he has done it again. Omar Yusuf doesn't disturb the scorers. Pakistan five for one. Ah! Oh, the ball! It is a bad fall. It is out. 
is gone again <laughs> deceived by this man mujib with the golden arm very casual defense the ball just swerving with the arm the new ball arif gone for four 11 for 2 pakistan shot too soon the ball came slowly snicked the toe end of the bat and a diving catch by ikram it goes going the other way changed and then grabbed this ball square leg uh, umpire has been called in and uh, third umpire help is needed the ball came slowly the pull shot was finished and then the toe end just grazing the ball and ikram was going the other side look at him change directions oh it bounced so the catch being claimed by ikram and uh, benefit of doubt there the ball has touched the grass so he'll be given not out the longer it takes the theory goes that the batsman always wins the benefit of doubt always goes to the batsman it's always been there ratul A good shot. The only way you can hit is by these shots. And one ball four here. And playing straight is the best way against Mujib. This one is missed. Skewed, and the third wicket is got down. Wafadar looks very innocuous, but uh, the ball coming quickly off the pitch, inducing a false shot, and he picks a wicket in his first over. He departs. It's 23 for three. Rohail Nazer comes in at number five, and he has got a job cut out for him. Oh, outside edge, and it'll be boundary. Ah, yeah. He's out. You could see this was coming, Venkat. Lack of experience. He was struggling, and suddenly chose to play the bailout shot and perished. So Rohail Nazer. Departs for seven and is thirty-two for four. Panic stations for Pakistan now. They are in deep trouble. Catch! We can see there's another wicket and it's straight to the fielder. Another wicket for guys. And now we can say the Pakistan have lost their fifth wicket for forty-two runs. They've started to celebrate in the stands. And why not? Half of the side already back in the hat. Mohammad had gone for 19. Pakistan five down for 42. The captain walks in. Oh, that's a good-looking shot. That is a fantastic shot. is very good from the bowler we talk about his special talent as a bowler what about the fielder excellent nothing is going right for pakistan here we can see the bow the batsman thought it's an easy single but he anticipated brilliantly and threw down to the keeper hasan khan 10 follow he just got 10 55 for 6 the new batsman suleiman shafkat is here in the middle brilliant Yeah! There you go, Pudding. The wrong one. Had no clue whatsoever. What a delivery! And they keep on celebrating. This is what we have seen throughout the tournament, and he's been so brilliant at it. Fifty-five for seven. Can he bat like Shahid Afridi? We'll have to wait and see. Lovely delivery. Right in front. Wicket number four. What a display this is from Afghanistan. What a display of bowling from Mujib. This has become a habit for Mujib. Picking up wickets at will. He does that 
in the beginning overs, and now again we saw him coming back and doing the damage. Uh, Fridi gone. He's gone for three. Pakistan at 61 for eight. It's so hard for the batsman to pick him up. Yeah! Oh, yeah, of now, it's gone. Oh, yeah, it's been given. Stumped. They need one more wicket to go on to win the final. And what a moment will that be. Another wicket goes. Mohamed Musa out for not. 62 for nine. Why? What a moment this will be for Afghanistan. Yeah! yeah! All over for Pakistan. Afghanistan created a history by the first Asia Cup into their pockets. Done and dusted. And they celebrated and why not? What a moment for Afghanistan. They only took 22 overs to bowl Pakistan out for 63. Absolutely brilliant. Magnificent performance from Afghanistan and they totally deserve it.